So, the corrupt senator shows up near the end of the movie, the good guy pops out of the trunk, slugs him and says, that was a recount, you lose. So what's your point? You want to figure out more cool stuff to say when you slug people? No. My point is, there's no way he could have got out of the trunk that fast. Movies aren't real. We've had this discussion before. Lock me in the trunk, see how long it takes me to get out. Really? If I'm not out in 20 minutes, open her up. How long was that? Scary being in that car trunk. Closest thing I could compare it to is being locked in some kind of trunk. Why were you in there again? I mean, you know, besides the obvious reasons. What's an obvious reason for being in a car trunk? Ooh, did you rat on the mob? I was testing a theory. But let me tell you, once inside, time and space had no meaning. 30 minutes felt like an eternity. Karen said it was like 10 seconds. Karen was on the other side of the trunk lid. She wasn't what I call in country. You mean in trunk? Yeah. Come on, let's share. Come on. Oh, isn't this fun? Compared to... I used to have girls' night back home all the time. Would the same people ever come back a second time? Now, I have noticed that no one is taking advantage of Tilly, our tarot card reader. We're doing this? Yes. We are all doing this. Now, who wants to go first? How about we go in order of who gives a crap? Okay, I'll go first. Hey, jackass, did you hear about Davis? How about him being locked in the car trunk? <laughs> he got himself locked in the car trunk. No, I never heard about that. Well, he did. Locked inside the trunk. <laughs> what a jackass. Honestly, Dad, you gotta give that word a rest. What word? Jackass. Davis is a jackass for getting locked in the trunk. Yesterday, the bread delivery guy was a jackass for wearing a digital watch. And apparently, I'm a jackass just for sitting here. Everybody's a jackass. I know. That's why I use the word so often. This card is the lovers, meaning you will be married. Yes! <laughs> Not that I need a man to complete me, <laughs> but yes. You've already met him. He's dark-haired. And the hermit card means he isn't working right now. Sounds like Hank. Mrs. Hank Yarbo, jackpot. This tarot stuff is fun. It's not Hank. Give me a name, a non-Hank name. His name starts with the 18th letter of the alphabet, R. I do 30 crosswords a day. Name starts with R. Well, the possibilities are endless. The world is my oyster. What does that card mean? It means she will never leave Dog River. What? Guess this isn't our last girly night. Hey, how much gas you want? Uh, 10 bucks worth. Hey, Oscar, a couple more 10 bucks for gas? Ah, chance. Come on, man, I'm, I'm in a bit of a bind here. He's already started pumping it. You should have thought of that first, jackass. Lighten up, hammerhead. Hammerhead? What's Hammerhead? You, Hammerhead. Uh, Brent, you're going over the $10 mark there. Oh, this is your big way of getting back at me for jackass. Yeah, it's got kind of a nice ring to it, doesn't it, Hammerhead? Oh, I might have to borrow an extra $10 there, Hammerhead. Only he calls me Hammerhead. Stop calling me Hammerhead. All right, fine. See you later, Hammerhead. Well, I'm not responsible for that tank of gas. Now, I'm not judging your trunkless life, but since I've been out, colors are brighter. Food tastes better. You were in there for 10 seconds. You're just jealous. I've come through the other side. No, you came out the same side. You went in seven seconds earlier. 
I left my groceries here. That's a hammerhead move. Stop calling me hammerhead, you jackass. Stop calling me jackass, you hammerhead. It's disrespectful. Well, what do you think jackass is, a tip of the hat? Sorry, hammerhead. As long as you keep using the J word, I'm going to keep dropping the H-bomb. I'm not playing your stupid games. Now, where's my groceries? Oh, I put those all back on the shelf. You jackass. Hammerhead. And I should have thought of this years ago. So what's the deal, guys? You have a tarot card party and don't invite me? It was a girls' night. We had to drink Cosmos. Ah, oh, really? I'm tired of girls' night being all frilly frou-frou crap. Why can't a girls' night have some nards to it? You heard me. Nards. Yeah, we should have another girls' night that isn't so girly. Drink some beer, play some poker. Smoke cigars, watch kickboxing. Barbecue some steaks. Kill the cow with our bare hands. Fine, we'll buy the steaks. But I want beer and kickboxing. When should we do this? It's a girls' night. Damn. Do you know any dark-haired, unemployed men whose name starts with R? Yes, okay, my turn. Do you know any blonde women whose name starts with Y? No, this isn't a game. This tarot card reader told me I was gonna marry someone whose first name started with R. <laughs> Oh, that tarot card stuff is bunkum. Who's got bunkum? I thought they stopped making that. Well, Lacey had her tarot cards read. Oh, that's crapola. It's more bunkum. Or hooey. I don't really believe in that stuff either. Although, I do think there is some merit to astrology. And palm reading. And crystals can be very powerful. Yeah, you sound like a real skeptic. My mom was against all of it. One time she caught me with a Ouija board and she yelled, Richard Henry Yarbo, you get rid of that right this instant. Richard? Your first name is Richard? Hey, yeah, Hank's first name starts with R. Ooh, Hank's first name starts with a R. No, no, this can't be happening. What's up with her? Hey, we were playing a game and she just lost. Big time. If your first name is Richard, why do you go by Hank? It's my middle name. I, like, I hate the name Richard. Kids would tease me. Oh, they called you Dick. Why would they do that? Real nice, Lacey. Isn't that interesting? Hank's name starts with R. Hank, a dark-haired, unemployed man whose name starts with R. Yeah, that is kind of interesting. If you think that's interesting. Brent, no. <laughs> um, you're right. You tell it better. Okay, you know what, fine, it's not a big deal. I, I saw a tarot card reader and she told me I was gonna marry a, a dark-haired, unemployed guy whose name started with R. You know, but that could be anybody. Yeah, it could be anybody. But it's obviously me. Woo! <laughs> Darkness, aloneness. Caught without my cell phone-ness. What are you doing? I'm writing a poem to help me cope. Has it been two seconds? Three seconds, maybe? These are the words of Davis the baby. Until you've spent more than ten seconds in a trunk, you've no right to add a stanza to my poem. Close the lid! Had enough? No. What was that, five seconds? Once enclosed in the inky... Shut it. Your mouth and the lid. Okay, big shot. Let's see how long you can take it. Oh, we're gonna need chips for the poker. Yeah, and some dip and cheesies. I meant poker chips. Sounds like you don't know much about cards. And you're an expert. I played with the guys a couple of weeks ago. Now. Let's play some hold them. <laughs> yeah. I'm enjoying myself too. What game is it you wanted to play again? Hold them. Texas hold them. <laughs> <laughs> we had lots of laughs. Yep, you're pretty lucky, Lacey. You're probably thinking, how did I score so big? This guy's got a truck with a full tank of gas. <laughs> it's just a stupid tarot card. Okay, I have free will. I could make any choice I want. 
Yeah, she could marry me. No, your name has to start with R. Ah, uh, must be such a relief. No more second guessing, no more decisions, no more waiting in restaurants for someone to show up. I'm just saying it would be sad. Karen just called from her cell phone. She's stuck in the trunk of the cruiser, and she said you'd know what that meant. Oh, jeez. I was right here the whole time. <laughs> What's the deal in the chocolate bars? A buck each or a two for five. Well, that's more expensive. How do you mean? What do you mean, how do I mean? That's just stupid. Only a... Only a what? Oh. I see what you're doing. You think you can make me say jackass? Hammerhead. I wasn't saying it. I was saying you wanted me to say it, jackass. Hammerhead. It is such a relief to meet you. Hey, at least we're out of pickles. What are you doing? Making my lunch. This is my restaurant. Mm, our restaurant, you know, 50-50, which I think is fair considering you started it. I mean, I'm a reasonable life partner. Mm, yeah, about that, I'd like you to meet Roy. And Roy, what letter does your name start with? Are you serious? R. R. Oh, hey, mine too. I'm Hank. Do you have a job right now, Roy? Uh, well, like I was saying, I've just finished law school and I'm just waiting to hear back on articling positions. So, technically, you're unemployed. Oh, geez, don't be so hard on him. Hey, don't worry, I used to be unemployed, but now it doesn't matter, because I hooked up with Lacey. Congratulations. No, he didn't. Hey, lunch is on us. <laughs> well, usually Oscar turns this knob, waits too long. Then he pushes this button until the thing explodes into flames, but not today. Oh, Emma, Emma, Emma. Let the old barbecue doctor take a look. Yep, as I suspected, you're out of propane. I'm impressed. You should be. If there's one thing I know, it's barbecues. You know, most people just disconnect the tank and bring that in, not the whole barbecue. I know that. But that can wear out the connecty clips to the hose nozzle. Just fill it. Hey, what's the name of that fellow with the farm out by the auction market? Tom? No, west of the auction market. Jack Fenton. Everybody knows Jack. <laughs> That's right, good old Jack. Hey, he's got those uh, trees on his property there. What are they, birch or elm? Ash. He doesn't know his ash from his elms. <laughs> That's right, stupid me. Well, now, uh, Jack's neighbor is saying that those trees belong to him. Well, he's wrong. They're on Jack's property. So they're not the neighbor's ashes, they're... Jack's ashes. No, Hank, he has to say it. Is that your big trick? How long did it take you to think up that, Jim? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> What's new, jackass? Hammerhead. You make me say jackass. Hammerhead. What do we have to get in the city? Cigars and big slabs of red meat. Huh. Yummy. Hey, guess what? I met a new guy. On Dog River? Do I know him? Roy. Dark. Handsome. Roy. Is he a lawyer? He will be soon. Mr. Perfect sounds an awful lot like Roy Hiscock, who's married. That's my Roy. No, he's Mrs. Hiscock's Roy. That's why they call her Mrs. Hiscock. Well, I'm not giving up. You know, just because a tarot card reader says something, it doesn't mean it's gonna come true. Why are we stopping? We still need to go to the city. I'm not doing anything. Engine failure. Okay, what does that mean? Oh, great. I really am never leaving Dog River. Why'd you call Hank? He's yours now. Might as well use him for something. Mrs. Yarbo. Yeah. Aren't you glad we got this reliable truck, hun? Glad is not the word. What are you doing here? Just came by to make a sandwich. You want one? What's in it? Turkey, Swiss, lettuce, tomato, mayo. Sounds okay. Yeah, except instead of the squeezy bottle of mayo, I accidentally used Mum's hand lotion. Oh, I feel like such a, oh, I don't know, what would you call it, a 
Moron? No, it's not really moronic. It's it's more something that would be done by uh Pinhead? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and eat the sandwich anyway, because you know, the uh lotion will probably just make my insides soft and supple. So here I go. Enjoy. So once I install this, if someone gets stuck in the trunk, they just pull the button and the lid pops. Wow. This thing's really got you scared now, doesn't it? Don't rub it in, okay? I'm sorry. I, I can't do this. That's all right. We all can't face our demons head on, like I do. You're an inspiration. Pass me the pliers. Uh. That's the biggest steak I've ever seen. Not me. I've done one twice this size on the old Q. Q? Short for barbecue. Oh, that's a real time saver. How long do you grill it? A cacao like that? Take probably an hour. Stand back, Dr. Barbecue. Wait, it's only been 45 minutes. This is broken, too. Thanks, Jack. Those things are even more complicated than the propane tank. Which disconnects from the base unit. Just a little tip for you. Maybe if Hank got a job. Oh, no. You're starting a shame spiral. I think I saw this on Oprah. He keeps himself in shape. <laughs> you know, he's got an all right body. Lacey, snap out of it. It's Hank. He uses chapstick as deodorant. Well, there's worse people. <laughs> right? On death row, maybe. I don't know what's wrong with the missus. I think she might be depressed. Depressed? I wouldn't be surprised if she was starting a shame spiral. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Well, I bet if you thought long and hard, you could figure it out. Or I could just tell you, save some time. It's this wedding thing. Is it cost? Because, you know, I'll pay for half. I mean, I'll have to owe her, but I'll... You guys aren't in love. You're barely in like. I know, but... Hubba hubba. <laughs> Real classy, Hammerhead. I thought your dad was Hammerhead. What? Did I just call you Hammerhead? Yeah, for no reason. There's plenty of reasons, Hammerhead. Damn it, I can't stop. Did you get more steaks? Salmon steaks, they were out of beef. Salmon steaks aren't manly. They're red. Reddish. Off pink. Hey, I'm not the one in the frilly blouse. All my stuff's in the laundry. My shirt reeked of smoke. The whole place did. I lit some scented candles. Guys, Lacey's really depressed. We have to do something to help her. Is that lilac? What's going on in here? You doing anything stupid you might want me to see? You know what? I've been thinking about this whole jackass hammerhead thing, and I want to apologize. <laughs> I said some things I shouldn't have said. Mainly hammerhead. Anyway, I realize now you can't help yourself. Yes, I can. Not using the J word is as easy as pie. No, no, it did. I know. I was starting to get hooked on the H-bomb. Hey, wasn't that hard to stop? Once I found a few replacement words. Butthead. Butthead? Uh, that's just kind of childish. You heard me, nincompoop. What, are you one of the Three Stooges now? Maybe I am, fish brain. All right, I'm officially rescinding the moratorium on jackass. Don't know what your big words mean. Cabbage, breath. Okay, now I'm begging you. Please go back to jackass. I'll think about it. Barn smell. Here's Chuck from the fire department. Thanks for doing this. And thanks again for putting out the barbecue. She's coming. Oh, you guys, look at this. Poached salmon scented candles. You really had me believing you didn't like girls' night. <laughs> and we have a little surprise for you, just for fun. Introducing the amazing Chuck. He's a palm reader. Uh, no offense, but I'm, I'm really not in the mood for another prediction. And then your plane crashes. So I do get to leave Dog River. 
and catches fire because no one knows how to use the fire extinguisher. Fire safety is important. Not enough people take that seriously. Oh, and you die alone, without a husband, never married. Oh, well, that is so great. I die in a fiery crash, but no Hank. <laughs> Chuck's pretty good, huh? Chuck is amazing, thank you. Karen? David just called and said he's stuck in the trunk and you'd know what that means. It means it's time to play poker. Yeah. Woohoo! I just wanted to say no hard feelings. Okay, I got a little wrapped up <laughs> and took it all too seriously. Well, I guess we both did. You definitely did more than me. Mm. You know, I'm sure you're gonna make a fine husband for someone who isn't me. Come on, Hank, let's go. Oh. You're dating the tarot card reader? Yeah. We should get going. We're going to be late. Oh, there you go with the predictions again. <laughs>